<coughs> Hello guys. Uh, in this video, I am going to show you about the binary search tree. It means like what is basically a binary search tree, how binary search tree is being arranged, and I am going to quote the insert operation of binary search tree (PST) in JavaScript. Okay. So <coughs> let us first show you. Uh, let me first show you the actual definition, formal definition of a binary search tree. So, BST, binary search tree, uh, it is somewhat time. <laughs> Here it is. So, I have used the Geeks for Geeks article. Here. So, in Geeks for Geeks article, you can get the uh, means like clear definition of a binary search tree that binary search tree is node based binary tree data structure which has the following properties the left subtree of node contains only nodes with keys lesser than the node key the right subtree of a node contains the node with keys greater than the node key and the left and the right subtree must also be a binary search tree okay so let me first show you how to create a binary search tree so first of all going with the definition suppose you have to given an array the array contains certain data like we have 20 12 3 10 17 18 24 okay now, as per given definition, first of all, let me tell you, in basically tree, all these comes under nodes. So, these all are a part of nodes here. Okay. If we are talking about tree, then these all things are nodes. Now, now let us see. First of all, we have 20. So if there is no tree, it means like, if there is nothing then we will first create our root node based on our choice so like 20 is our root node now what it is telling the left subtree of node contains only node with key lesser than the nodes key so suppose this is our this is 20 and we had nothing to show right now because this was the first element that we have inserted so then this is 20 so 20 is our root node here now is 12 greater than or less than 20 of course 12 is less than 20 so it will be a part of left subtree okay it will be it will come under left part of it is 3 less than 20 or greater than 20 see the traversing it means like again we are starting from the top is 3 less than 20 or greater than 20 so suppose 3 is less than 20 then again it will check if 12 is less than 20 or greater than 20 suppose 2 sorry is 3 less than 12 or greater than 12 suppose 3 is less than 12 so again it will come here now again uh, it will take the element 10 or node 10 it will check if it is uh, less than or greater than 20 so it is of course less than 20 it's like 10 is less than 20 then we have 12 is 12 less than 10 or greater than 10 so of course 12 is greater than 10 then again left then is 3 less than 10 or greater than 10 so of course 3 is less than 10 so it will come in right and it will exist here okay then we have 17 so each 20 less than 17 or greater than 17 of course 20 uh, 7 uh, 20 is greater than 17 then it will come to left so is 12 less than 17 or greater than 17 so of course 12 is uh less than 17 okay so if 12 is less than 17 so we can put it in the right 12 is less than 17, so it was the right. Then we have 18. So is 20 less than uh, is 20 
less than uh, or greater than 80 so first one is greater than 80 then we have 12 so is 12 less than or greater than 18 so 12 is less than 18 so again write is 17 less than 18 or greater than 18 so for 17 is less than 18 so it will come in right position here in this way so we will get here 18 and then we have 24 so <coughs> so 24 is 24 less than or greater than 20 so for 24 is greater than 20 so it will come here 24 so this is our BST this is our BST so for reference you can note it down that uh, the structure of the tree that 20 24 3 uh, 12 3 17 so in if we take any of the sub tree here it means like so we take this from here and we can put it here for better view so actually 17 is not the left of this 17 is basically right and uh, 24 it means like 20 12 3 10 24 17 18 something like this okay this is the structure so it is not connected to this so this is basically our binary first tree this is our PST okay so as per this definition this is our PST it means like if you will see in the definition also it means like here is our example tree so you can see that 8 so of course 3 is less than 8 so it is in the left of course 6 is greater than 3 so of course it is in the right then of course 4 then 4 8 is less than uh, 8 is greater than 4 so in the left 3 is less than 4 so right 6 is less than greater than 4 so left so in this way the entire tree has been arranged and as per definition the left and the right sub tree each must also be a binary search tree so if we will take any of the node here it means like um, any of the sub tree here it means like if we take this sub tree so we can see that left one consists of the smaller number then the root node and uh, the right one consists of the greater number compared to the root node okay so this is our definition of a binary search tree. Now, what if I want to code this? What if I want to make our own binary search tree? So how can we make it? Okay. Then, so as I have told you that every element within this array, particular array, is node for BST. So we will provide them an option for creating a node. So I will say class node. Now as I have provided this, so it will accept a constructor here. So within the constructor I will send a value. So I will say this particular 20 as our value right now. Okay, so this dot val equals to val. Now, for connecting this, it means like 20 left is 12. How are we going to identify that? Whether 20 left is 12, 12 right is 17. So, for identifying this, we need to take two extra variables. That is null and this dot right as null so initially there is no element within it and our node is ready so this is our node right now and we have this dot val equals to val and this dot left equals to null and this dot right equals to null as for our convenience now what i'm supposed to do is i'm going to take class and then i will name it as binary search tree S E okay. I did a spelling mistake. S E R C H. Okay. So
so we have binary just here so I'm getting a space is there an option to maximize it or something like okay I'll check it later so we have binary search tree now we want to perform an insert operation within it so what I will do I will initialize the constructor again and here in the constructor just take one variable that is this dot root and we will assign this dot root to be as null. Why we did that? Because we want to track the current element. It means like in which element right now our root is pointing in order to get that. It means like if it is 20 then we have to track that. Okay, the root element is 20 right now then if it is 12 then we will try that okay the root element is 12 right now if it is null then there is no element which is being inserted into a binary search tree yet but we are going to insert it later so we will perform the insert operation right now so we will get an insert and then in the insert we will put certain value to Insert. Of course, insert operation needs certain value to be uh, to get in, into it means like insert. We have to insert certain value within the binary history, right? So, if we are inserting, then what we are inserting? We are inserting certain value. So it accepts the parameter name val. Now, first of all, if a val comes, just directly create a new node. First of all, we have to create a new node. Linking will be done later. It means like first 12 have to be converted into a node first. It means like we have 20, then 20 needs to be converted into a node. We will link it later that where it should be placed. But before that, we have to link it to a node. So, we will say const new node equals to new node and we will pass the val within it so now we have created our new node here and we have whatever value we are getting it is converting it into a node here okay using this and we have created our classes so we have node dot left node dot right which is null and we have our value as well now we have to place it to a proper position it means like we have to place it to a specific position where it belongs to. We have created our node. It means like suppose we have 20, we have created our node as 20, but it is not pointing anywhere because its left is null, its right is null. So this is our 20. So 20 left is null, 20 right is null. Now we have our 2L, so we have created a new node. 12 whose left is null, whose right is null. Now, what we are supposed to do is very simple that if there is no root element, it means like if there is no root element, then it means like we haven't inserted any value within it. Like if there is no root element, if there is no root element, then we haven't inserted any element within it or we haven't created any node yet in simple word we haven't created any node yet now we are creating a node here so we have our value as 20 so we want to create a new node so we have created our new node so if this is the first element that we are inserting it means like this dot root was null then this dot root will be new node okay and we will return this so this dot root will be our new node and we are returning this otherwise it means like if we had already inserted this 20 before and 
this is our next element that is 12 okay so what we were doing we were comparing this 20 with this particular 12 and we were comparing this 20 and 12 and if 12 was less than 20 then we were assigning the position to the left and if 20 was greater than uh, if 12 was greater than 20 it means that it is not so but if it was then we are assigning the position to right so else first of all we will create a current so current will be this dot root which will be pointing on the current element that is 20 first initially we point to 20 now it receives a value now what happens that uh, it receives a certain value then <clears throat> we have to check from the top it means like we have to check from the above part that whether the value is greater than or less than 20 okay then we will assign the current value to this 12 and uh, then again we will check that whether it is greater than or less than 12 and similarly till its left is null or its right is null so that's there we can insert the certain value okay so while true we will return based on our convenience so i'm saying while true here we are taking while true now first of all let me check whether the val means whether the value whether the value that that value is 12 first okay so we are inserting the second value as 12 here so while the val is less than current dot well so current is our root element this dot root and this dot root is pointing to the new node first it means like this is 20 and uh, we have our left as null right as null for the root element it's left as null and right as null for the root element and we have 12 so So we have if val is less than current dot val, uh, uh, then we will insert it to the left position. But we have to check if the left is empty or left is fulfilled. Otherwise, we have to traverse again. So like we have if val is less than current dot val, then we have to again check that whether current dot left is equal to equal to null it means like then again we have to check whether current dot left is null it means like we have inserted this value as 20 initially so we have 20 as our value here. It means like our initial value was 20 but and this left was null right was null it means like 20 was the first value that we were inserting then we had 12 so we were trying to insert 12 but what happened that our root element that has still 20 and this left is null so it will fulfill this particular condition here it means like if current dot left is null then just assign the current dot left equals to whatever new node that we have created so this is our new node that we had created here it means like new node equals to new node pal so just assign the current dot left to be as new node otherwise else just navigate until it is current equals to current dot left okay and if it has already inserted then we will just return the current okay or mm, we can do one thing we can return entire thing so we can return this this is the first condition if val is 
let's think that and drop that. What if the current a dot value? Uh, it means like less than val. It means like if val is greater, then what will be the condition? So like our if condition is linear. So else if the next condition is like if val is greater than current dot val. Then validate it. If current dot right equal to equal to null, then just insert the value. It means like current equals to current dot right. Okay. Else, sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. Okay, okay, I did a mistake. Eh? So if current dot right is null, then assign the current dot right to be as our node. Okay. Otherwise, else uh, current equals to current dot right. So if the value is greater, it means like if they suppose like you are inserting 70 so it will check from 20 is 20 greater than or less than uh, 70 so of course 20 is greater than 70 so it will never get next it means like 12 current dot left is 12 less than or greater than of course 12 is greater than no, 12 is less than 17 so it will check for the right so if it is going to check for the right that if there is an element within it it means like if there is 17 so it means like we are for checking for the value 17 so if 17 wasn't there in the right then it would have mm, inserted the value 17 within it otherwise it will keep on traversing it will keep on checking that where it is empty place where it can insert a particular value where it fits so and after inserting the certain value we will just return that. Okay, so that's it, guys. It means like that is all about the insert operation. Now let us check for our output. It means like this is our result. So let me comment it. Yeah. Now I will say const pst equals to new binary what i have named my class binary search tree so new binary search tree so we have our this particular tree now i want to perform the insert operation so and i also want to use my console so console dot log pst dot insert so I want to insert the initial value of 20. So we have put our insert operation pst.insert20 and let me run the code. So we can see that left is null, right is null and val is 20 and it has been inserted here in the form of object. So as we will keep on inserting the value, it means like now we want our value to be as 12. So I will delete it. I will clear our console and run it. Okay. So we can see that within the left, it means like uh, right is still null. In the left, we have our object object, and this object consists of the same this left, right, and val, well, and this left, right, and val well is actually nothing but. Uh, the value 12 as our node and whose left is null, whose right is null and whose val is 12. Okay. Now I can show you that if I will try to insert 24, then the 
the right one will also consist of an object object so let me clear this and I'm trying to insert now 24 yeah so now we can see that first it is uh, it was null null because it inserted the root element 20 okay then in the left it has an object in the left it has an object and that object consists of nothing but 13 as our 12 as our node it means like this left has 12 as our node and this right has 24 as our node okay because 24 is greater than the root element that is 20 in case uh, if you really want to check that uh, what is the value so it uh, means like what is certain value present within the left element or within the right element then I can show you by creating a function here right now it means like we will go to the traversing part in the next video but for this particular video I am going to show you what is inserted within it okay so check left right we will say just in order to clarify you what is the value so where current equals to this dot root element and just we will put here console dot log of current dot val it is just nothing it is just to check what is the for certain value so we will say bst dot check left right now we will clear it and we will run the code so we are getting 20 because the root is pointing 20 inside this root is the main element here it means like this is the root now we have inserted 13 so if instead of this i will say this dot root dot left then we are doing control dot lock current dot that then what it is going to print let us see if it is going to print 13 as our dual as our uh, means like output because dual was less than 20 so it inserted to the left position and just by changing it to right and current dot well we can clear it and we can run it again so we ha we are getting 24 as our output so it means like because 24 is greater than 20 so we have this 24 as our right so this consists of the right node which is 24 and whose left and right is null and this consists of the left node whose left and right is null and this node's value is 12 uh if you want to check for more it means like suppose if you do left dot right then it is going to give us as null or type error cannot read the val of null because we have this value is there but this value is null right now it means like this dot root dot left dot null and current dot val so this value is null so current dot val is null but if we want to insert a certain value it means like if we have 20 12 and we try to insert one more value that is exactly greater than 12 that is suppose if you want to insert 14 so we know that 14 is less than 20 but 14 is less than 12 so it is going to insert into the right position so if it is going to insert into the right position then we have 14 and we will clear it then it is going to give us 14 as our result yeah why because it was in the left first it means like 20 left is 12 and 12 right is 14 right now so that is all guys regarding the bst in the next video i'm going to show you the traversing uh, algorithm uh, and traversing using uh,
JavaScript treatment like I'm going to show you. Uh, so your blood first and death first. Death first consists of three part pre-order, post-order, in order. So I'm going to show you all that part. Uh, that's it for this guys. <laughs> that's it for this video guys. Uh, so see you in the next video. Uh, subscribe and like uh, if you like my video. Thank you.